This is my Beretta 84 BB with the release of the new Beretta 80X Cheetah. I figured I would make a video on my classic Cheetah. I will go over what I have found regarding the markings on this pistol and what I know of its history. Um, of course, you got the Pietro Beretta Gardone VT made in Italy. Um, model 84 BB Cal 9 short. Obviously, 380 ACP, 380 auto. Um, nowhere does it say Cheetah on it. Um, was that just like a nickname they were given after the fact? I don't really know. Anyways, um, so these three markings right here are proof markings. Um, this left one is the year of the proof, 2022. Uh, looking up this serial number on the Beretta site, I found that this was uh, proofed and marked uh, March 3rd, 2022. I bought it late April. 2022. Uh, the center one is the Gardon proof house mark for a provisional proof, and the CIP over N is a definitive proof with smokeless powder, which is indicated by the N for nitrocellulose. FAT89 stands for Fabrica Army Tourney, or the Tourney Weapons Factory, and 1989 is the original year of production of this uh, pistol. I'm guessing this little PB right here stands for Pietro Beretta. Here's another PB, um, patented, uh, and I don't know what PM stands for. Uh, on the barrel, it says Cal 9 short 380 auto. Um, so GF under the serial number here indicates this was purchased by the police force of the Italian Ministry of Economy and Finance, or the Guardia di Finanza. Uh, this serial number that starts and ends with a Y uh, is also only on these GF purchased firearms. Um, the Beretta USA Corp uh, marking indicates it was imported to the U.S. for sale after its service with the GF. Apparently, um, the GF uh, returned these pistols to Beretta in partial exchange for new pistols, and Beretta decided to sell them, but before they could do that, they needed sent to the proof house uh, first for civilian sale before being imported uh, to the United States. The pistol came with these black plastic grips, um, which I replaced with these beautiful checkered walnut grips with the uh, Beretta medallions and logos. Uh, when I first got it, I completely disassembled, cleaned, and inspected it. Since then, I have polished the internals as well. It's a great shooting little gun. It's a super fun range toy. Um, it's undoubtedly beautiful, especially with these walnut grips. You just can't argue with these classic Italian curves. This is very similar to its big brother, the uh, 92 series of pistols in a lot of ways. Where it differs is that this is direct blowback and uh, not a locking breech design like the 92. Um, so due to that, it has an extremely heavy recoil spring and it has quite a bit of mass to the slide. Um, as we know, direct blowback actions typically result in heavier recoil because of all the uh, reciprocating mass, um, but it's still just a 380 auto, so it doesn't really kick uh, that much. And this is uh, fed by 13 round double stack single feed uh, magazines. 
This is a double single action with an ambidextrous frame mounted thumb safety that is very nice and positive and uh, easy to actuate. There's no provision for decocking uh, the hammer other than dropping the hammer manually. This could be carried cocked and locked, obviously, or you could lower the hammer with one in the chamber and then you have a long uh, and heavy double action first trigger pull that goes to single action once the slide reciprocates. Um, another option uh, is carrying this with the hammer down and the safety on. Now this is kind of interesting because the safety actually goes up into a notch on the slide and physically locks the slide in place as well as completely disconnecting the trigger. This comes apart just like a 92 series except the takedown lever is on this side rather than this side so you press the spring-loaded button from that side and flip this lever down and the slide comes off just like a 92. Um, you can see that the barrel and recoil rod and spring kind of go in the same as a Beretta 92, um, except there is no locking lug assembly on the bottom of this barrel as um, it's direct blowback and not a locked breech design. Uh, you can also see the slide is, uh, it's made out of steel and it's, it's pretty thick and pretty husky here. Um, the frame is aluminum and really pretty narrow where the slide rides and then of course gets uh, thicker to accommodate the double stack magazines. Um, the internals in operation are uh, pretty much just like the 92 series in terms of the hammer, sear, trigger, and the tr external trigger bar over here. Double action trigger on this is uh, nice and smooth. It was pretty smooth before I did the polishing and then that made it even better, but it's probably eight, nine, maybe 10 pounds. Um, this gauge only goes to eight pounds and it doesn't do very good with uh, double action pulls. So I suppose you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, single action, there's your take up, a uh, nice defined hard wall and then a little bit of creep and a nice crisp break. There's kind of a little nub on the back of the trigger there that limits over travel. And then the reset is Eh, kind of mushy feeling, not really that audible or tactile and a bit long. Um, but the uh, single action is even pretty heavy on this. Uh, and I think that's just due to the weight of the uh, mainspring that's in here. But there's not really um, different mainsprings offered on the aftermarket to uh, change the trigger pull weight. But as you can see, that single action pull was right at about five and a half pounds. So the trigger on this one, uh, this particular example, even after my polishing work is uh, a bit, bit heavy. Five and a half. Five and a half. Even though the uh, single action trigger pull on this is around five, five and a half pounds, it's still a really good shooting little gun. Uh, it's pretty easy to be accurate with, um, and it's just a lot of fun out there on the range. And uh, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, this classic look, uh, this classic firearm, and and uh, the price was right on it. And so I'm really happy I picked it up. It's a lot of fun, and uh, thank you for watching.